This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Kristen Swilly. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. Today, defense attorneys presented opening statements in the trial against former Cincinnati City Councilman P.G. Sittenfeld. Cameras are not allowed in federal courtrooms, but this sketch from artist Marlene Steele shows federal prosecutor Emily Gladfelter at the podium. Gladfelter says they plan to prove Sittenfeld received $40,000 in campaign contributions in exchange for his vote on a downtown development project. She says they plan to prove that by showing audio and video recordings with Sittenfeld and three undercover FBI agents. A Westchester man is in jail charged in a crash that killed a woman and an infant on Sunday. Juan Jimenez faces two counts of aggravated vehicular homicide and driving while under the influence. The Ohio State Highway Patrol says Jimenez lost control of a Honda Civic and crashed into an oncoming car on State Route 222 near Batavia. Two people in his car identified as Maria Rodriguez and an infant died at the scene. Court records show Jimenez did not have a valid driver's license at the time of this crash. He's currently being held on $750,000 bond. Tonight, Forest Hill School Board members will introduce a new resolution following the controversy over Turpin High School's canceled Diversity Day. The resolution, if approved, would ban critical race theory along with the identity of identity or quote anti-racism curriculum for student education or staff training. Tonight's meeting starts at 630 at Nagel Middle School. Jen? The Tri-State under a heat advisory for the afternoon. The heat index already at the noon hour was at 100 for a lot of locations, up to 104, and that will be the case for the afternoon until it starts to rain over your town. Once it rains, it will drop that temperature, drop the heat index, and potentially we could get an isolated strong to severe storm in that process. The Storm Prediction Center has our area in a marginal risk for severe weather for the rest of the day. This is really focused from about 2 to 7 p.m. as storms start to the north, turn widely scattered for several hours, and push to the southeast. Our team will be keeping an eye on it as the storms roll in later this afternoon.